how to have a holy, holy week. All right, so maybe here it is, Holy Week. You feel like you haven't done as much as you should have during Lent, and you're thinking, oh, what's the point? It's too late to do anything. Well, don't, don't be thinking that way. It's never too late to dive more deeply into your faith and to be doing things to actively know, live, and share your faith with others as well. And Holy Week provides a perfect opportunity for you to just sort of do that last-ditch stretch of, of running. Think about a marathon, right? If you talk to a marathon runner, and you say, oh, you ran 26 miles. They'll say, no, I ran 26.2 miles because that 0.2 miles is the most important part. Well, Holy Week is that 0.2 miles. It's the part where you can just sort of throw everything that you have into yourself. Even if you've been struggling through the first part of it and haven't been doing the best you could throughout Lent, now's the time to throw in everything that you got left and really give it your all. And in my prayer life, whenever I'm struggling, it's normally if I go back to the things that bring me closer to God, if I remember what those things are and actually implement them, then I can get back into a more rigorous prayer life again. Whether it be in Lent or out of Lent, in Holy Week or out of Holy Week, I have go-to things. So what are your go-to things? For me, it is the Eucharist, spending time in Eucharistic adoration. It's going to confession. I, I can never go to confession enough, it seems. And then lastly, it's just you know, praying the rosary, something as simple as that. Because the rosary, for me, is a gospel meditation. It is diving deeply into the life of Christ. And as we are in Holy Week and we're thinking about the suffering of Jesus Christ, praying things like the sorrowful mysteries of the rosary and really meditating on Jesus' agony in the garden and his scourging at the pillar, the crowning of thorns, the carrying of the cross, and ultimately his crucifixion and death. By meditating and spending time with Christ, thinking about these things, and perfectly, if you do it in Eucharistic adoration, and if you do it after confession, it's amazing the graces that we can experience. And so that's really a huge recommendation for, for you this week, and for me, is spend time with Jesus in the Eucharist. Spend time meditating on his life with the rosary. And then lastly, make sure that you have purged yourself of anything that you're holding on to, including not having the best Lenten practices by going to confession. And doing these things, it seems as though it kind of opens up floodgates, at least for me. And from people that I've talked to, they've said the same thing. By clinging to the things that matter to them throughout the course of their lives, throughout the year, whether it's in Lent or out of Lent, in Holy Week or out of Holy Week, what are the things that you can intentionally do to bring yourself to Christ? Christ is waiting for us. Christ wants us to come to him, but he's waiting for us to take those steps in that last point two miles of the marathon. So in this Holy Week, here's some tactical things, some, some practical things that you can do as well. So here we are, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, not quite in the triduum yet, perfect time to schedule a confession or go to confession. Call up a priest, say, Father, I didn't have a chance to do it. Can you hear my confession before we go into the triduum? On Holy Thursday, go and celebrate that Mass of the Last Supper. Pray about what does this mean? What does the Eucharist mean in my life? On Good Friday, feel the longing of wanting to be with Jesus in his suffering. Pray those sorrowful mysteries on that day. And as a bonus, if you start praying a Divine Mercy Chaplet on Good Friday for the next nine days leading up to Divine Mercy Sunday, the Sunday after Easter, that's just another great practice that you can do to carry on what you're trying to do throughout this Lenten period. And then, of course, on Holy Saturday, if you can go to that Vigil Mass, it's a beautiful celebration of seeing other people excited about the faith coming into the faith. And, of course, on Easter, well, you know what to do. Make sure you go to Mass, celebrate the resurrection, celebrate the blessings God has in your life. So what are you going to do? What are your go-to things in your prayer life that always bring you back closer to God? And how are you going to sort of ramp it up in these last 0.2 miles of Holy Week in these last few days leading up to Easter? I'm Greg Willis. 